Oh, wow. Looky there. Well, good day, everybody. We're back again, and we've got Franz here today. And Franz, what did you bring us today? Big M. <laughs> Oh, she is gorgeous. Silver anniversary too. Oh, that is something, Franz. That's a 390 in this, isn't it? Holy, so I'm trying to walk around it and get the whole thing in the picture, but there's a lot of car. <laughs> I might have to take a break here. <laughs> oh, that is absolutely stunning. George Jensen, eat your heart out. <laughs> yeah, she's got the tail fins, don't she? Holy smokes. Now, how long have you had this, Franz? It's been a few years now, hasn't it? This is number four. Wow. Number four. Yep. That this is one's awesome. taught me a lot. I haven't had to do much. But what I have had to do, it's taught me how to in a really good way. I had to rebuild the cart. So now I got a pretty good idea on how to tune them down for performance or for leanness. And she's a four barrel. Yes, indeed. We got the auto light in this one, 4100. Wow. I had to learn how to adjust drum brakes on this thing to get a little more life out of them. And now she stops pretty good once more. Yeah, four-wheel drums on these, eh? With a single master cylinder well, manual got, at that. You have, oh, those are all four of the original hubcaps. Yes, these were the ones that came from the park lane. I did have another set that were uh, wire imitators, but somebody stole wood. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't been able to get another one yet. Holy smokes. There, It looks great, Franz. It looks great. Can we see inside? Oh, small one. <laughs> Abby, do you want to come see the Marauder? <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. Holy smokes. It's just like a time capsule. And you've got the console shifter, too. Yeah, it looks amazing. That is something. But wow. Now. Would that be the single speaker in the back, Franz? This one was, well, that's just a vent for this one, but it's, uh, I have, it would have been the deluxe option. Wow. So I got to do that in time. That custom auto sound outfit. Get a modern radio in there, but keep it looking stock, and give it speakers front and back. That'll be all it needs for yeah. stereo. Look at that. And that's, that's the factory tack. That's, not an aftermarket piece. Holy smokes. That's very rare. Nobody said they were oh. easy to see, but it's pretty sweet to have. It's absolutely sunny. Even the headliner's just perfect. You got the little round chrome dome light. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Can we see under the hood? Whoa. Powered by Ford. That's the big 390. Oh, I love it. Franz, is it? It's pretty much stock? It was a truck motor, a 70s truck motor, that as I've been coding through it, they put cylinder heads from a 68 Ford passenger car on it along with an intake from 61 so she breathes good up top but it still has all the low end bow it's wow. very nice including the uh, double stuffed Oreo air cleaner element but where <laughs> did you find a chrome power steering pump this all came with it I haven't had to do nothing except tighten it and wow. keep it happy oh somebody must have done that yes indeed because I don't think you would find the top for it otherwise wow you've got the Soft bag for the overflow, right? Eh? Yep, for the for the washer fluid. Yep, she works out. Oh, that's the that's the washer fluid. Yes, indeed. that's not the overflow for the radiator. No, nope. no, because it had the big tank, but like they all oh. do, it leaked. I see you got your Ford voltage regulator, external voltage regulator, indeed. and your <laughs> external solenoid starter solenoid, which is also a good idea on these. Yes, Half the time true. when the starter goes, it's just a solenoid. You can just replace them in this. Same thing with the alternator. It's usually just the voltage regulator. Yep. In this instance, it's the field wire between the two. Wow. Yep. 
The one thing we had to do here for the sake of maintenance was replace the expansion tank. The 60s one is a big chrome rectangular piece, real uh -huh. nice looking, but they all leak around the edge. Mine yeah. did too. So we found this is actually a piece from 2004 Dodge Dakota. And uh, <laughs> goddamn, if it wasn't worked just perfectly. Boy, you sure get a lot of the Dodge stuff in your Fords there. Yes, indeed. You know, technically, it's a Mercury, though. <laughs> you gotta, gotta have the Mercury. That's the, that's the deluxe model. Yes, sir, sir. Yeah, this is higher than the Ford, but a uh, little less than the Lincoln, right? Yes, indeed. This is the, uh, this is the hot rod of its day. Oh, wow. That is absolutely stunning. It's Boy, I'll bet it goes like hell, too. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Good. We'll say it does the speed limit. That sounds really nice over 4,000 RPM. Wow. It'll actually rev that high and not that. Yeah. The 70s truck motor probably wouldn't have. Yeah. Boy, I bet this is a lot nicer to drive in the cooler weather with uh, than, the, than the 30 is, eh? Yes, indeed. The 30 is... Uh, bone jarring adventure. Yes. This is a comfortable cruiser. Oh, that's that absolutely. has more than enough jam. Oh, I bet it just floats down the highway. It is very happy at 50 miles an hour. Wow. Good to do it all day and not complain about nothing. All right. Let's close that up. Okay, you're gonna have to show us the trunk again, frauds. I wasn't recording. You gotta see this. This is a car trunk. Sure this is a lot of trunk. You can. That is an apartment. Holy smokes! It, you could live in here, and it looks like you almost are. Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. You got. Bit. You got a rebuilt car in the trunk here. You could carry a Honda around in case you ran out of gas. You could just use it to scoot up to the gas station. Just pull it out of the trunk. Holy smokes. And there's your gas door there, which is also so cool. That's awesome. I love these old cars. They ever go uh, looking for the gas filler on you at the gas station? More often than I care to admit. Yeah, that one's hard to find. Right on, that's almost as bad as the Cadillacs where they had them under the tail light here. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love the dual exhaust, the chrome tips. The wow. There's a right at the end on this system and it has an H pipe in it. That's why it's very smooth. More like oh, a smooth thread wow. than a, a rumble. Yeah, wow. That is something else. Okay, can we take her for a ride? Yeah. All yeah, right. Okay, Sarah, here we go. You ready? Okay. All right, I finally won one. You know, we just recorded this, and she got me with Brock again, and uh, she thought I'd switch tactics. No, I stuck with scissors. I get to go this time. All right, let's go. Oh, wow, she is smooth. It's very quiet, too. It's got a nice rumble. I put the seatbelt on, but there aren't any are there, Franz? Well, 64 was the changeover year. <laughs> you could if you wanted to, but people would kind of laugh at you thinking you're going to go around the Indy 500. <laughs> drum brakes aren't so bad you know we're not racing or anything no certainly they not. do the job a little cylinder might be nice but you know there's things to do in later time is a single single cylinder manual at that oh wow yeah you didn't look like you were working that hard not particularly it's all well weighed and things great oh beautiful day for a ride eh no, i take it you're gonna put her away pretty soon so usually I can get them out till Halloween, but I just don't think we're gonna get it this year. No, no, it's getting cool. This yeah. might be the last video of the year, folks. So drink it in. It is a beautiful day. Wow, it just rides like a cloud. A lot of 
visibility in here. Oh, yeah, she's uh, she's no turtle. She's big, but she's got it where it counts. Whoa, that 390 really works. I love that four barrel. Well built, well built. Good combination of stock stuff. Oh, yeah. Everything a 390 ought to have been, I assume. No, they don't make them like this anymore, that's for sure. Because this thing got the Galaxy roofline this year, that's what inspired it to be the Marauder. And if you look it up, they were actually quite successful in racing this year. They won um, USAC Dirt Track Championship, and this car was the fastest thing up Pikes Peak in 64. You're kidding, really? That's something. With a 427, but that's still. A, it made historical it. notice there, wow. Yes, indeed. Oh, she looks great, too. God, does it ever ride nice, like. Oh, this is probably the finest example of old car I've had yet. Like for just to get in it and go dependability and fine riding while you do it. The big old Z was nice, but it was a boat. The wow. Cadillac I had for a little while was nice, but yeah. it was a boat and it was well, powered by diesel. You sure what had a few. I remember I remember the uh, Belvedere. I remember yes. the Parisienne. I remember uh, the Oldsmobile. That was awesome. Yes, big old Z. Yeah, we did a lot of work on that. We did get it done too. We did get it painted. Certainly did. It was a lot of work, but you stuck with it, and man, you've uh, you finished a lot of these old cars off, runs. You don't uh, you don't mess around once you tear her apart, even if it takes a couple of years. You always put it back together, and this thing really looks amazing. Yes, indeed. Well, the tack works too. It does function. That is so cool. You got the red line set about 58? Yep. It feels a little generous, but not too bad. Yeah. Again, mostly stock stuff, but still. This one will handle a corner pretty good too, but I'm feeling like a ball joint's coming a little loose, finally. Yeah. Probably the first one that's ever run through. So, we ain't going fast around corners today. But that's okay. Wow, that is something. Look at that, and it works. A little vent window. And it's got a crank. You don't just push these ones out. Like some of them, they got the latch there and you just shove them out. This one got its own handle. Absolutely beautiful. So what do you figure this thing gets to the gallon of gas there, Frogs? Well, when I first got it, it was running like a bag of ass, very rich, <laughs> and I wouldn't put it better than about 11 miles a gallon in town. Wow. Nine, I guess on the highway. Yeah, maybe. it wasn't really a concern back then, eh? Not particularly. But these aren't as bad as people think. If you take it easy on them, they'll, they'll you know, they'll get 17, 20 out of it on now, the highway. Now that I've got it running properly, that's about what I get. About 22 on the highway, about 17 in town. Wow. I call that a big improvement from 11. Yeah, <laughs> that is a big improvement, especially these days. Yes, certainly so. Yeah. You can buy a car. Pump, tuning the idle speed, getting the mixture right, having it run like a champ. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, that is something. Sarah and Abby wanted to go for a ride too, so it would have been mutiny. What do you think of that, Abby? What? I was just like showing you the slow mo. <laughs> That's pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. That's the only one on the road in Manitoba. 
Franz, thank you so much for bringing her out and showing us the car. Oh, it certainly was. Man, this one's my that favorite. is awesome. Come on, high five. High five. <laughs>